Hi guys, welcome to my video in which I'm going to be removing this number plate holder and replacing it with the official Yamaha tail tidy. And here it is in the box. Looking at the photos online, it didn't look like it was actually going to bring the number plate any closer to the bike than the factory fitted uh, unit. But I saw this recently on a bike on the Santa toy run that I went on uh, and it looked amazing. So I went out and purchased it. It comes with the Yamaha R7 logo on the back there. So I can't wait to get this fitted. Let's go. It comes with quite a large set of double-sided instructions, so I think this may be quite the challenge. And here's everything that's in the box. So as with most of the installs, first things first is we're going to remove the seat. Okay, then we're just going to pop out these two clips here and here, which will allow us to remove this plastic panel like this. Let's make sure we keep that somewhere safe. Next step, we're going to remove the wireless seat. So we're going to undo these two here with a five millimeter hex. I'd already started this off before I started the filming. And then we'll just remove the seat by lifting this away. Next, we need to remove this, 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 and this. And then we need to remove this, which is a 10 mil. We need to remove this here, this on this side, this one here, and then pop off these clips. Okay, this here is a four millimeter. These here are also four mil. And these come with a little washer in here. So as you can see, we've removed these here, we've removed these here, and we've removed the clips that are in these holes here. We're then gonna come underneath the bike, and we're gonna undo this here, and then we're gonna pop out the plug here. Next, underneath the bike, we need to pop out these five here. This top one here seems to be giving me a bit of grief with a little persuasion that decided to come off the clip still in there and I'll remove that properly before I refit it later. Next up, back on top of the bike, we're removing these two here. We need to remove this here. And then we're going to pop these last two here. Taking this piece away here, and that actually reveals another one that we need to undo here. So now we've got this loose, this fairing is loose here, pulled this. Okay, we can see we've removed everything from the underside here. So let's go ahead and remove these fairings. This just comes away quite nicely. Nice uh, clips here that I used to attach this. Gently pull this. Let's hold it. Let's hold it here. This is certainly looking different to how we started off. I think this will make for a far less comfortable ride for both rider and pillion. Okay, we've got the ECU here, which it says it wants us just to pull up and then just move out of the way. So let's just grab this like this. Okay, this sits on a rubber mount. And we'll just pull that out of the way like so, so we can get to everything that we need uh, for uh, instructions on how to remove the ECU to send it away for tuning. Um, I guess here we are. So you'll see here the cabling for the brake light and for the indicators. It wants us to cut this white clip here and then unclip this black clip so that we can gain access to these cables. For me, I'm gonna remove this rear brake light, which is just held on by a little clip here, just to make it easier to get access. For this clip, just putting the screwdriver in the top here, like so, just releasing this little clip here and then we should be able to pull the rest of this up 
and away. And we can just get this clip out like so. So there are four cables that go to the back of the bike. Uh, one of these is gonna be for the rear number plate light. The other's gonna be for the actual um, stop light, which you can see is this one here with the tag on it. And then the other two are gonna be the indicator leads. Um, when we're removing this, we're gonna be removing all three and not the, the one for the, the brake light. So we're just gonna squeeze this connector here and pull this out. without breaking it, like so. Let's get this one here. Okay, we've got this one. One more to go. These aren't the easiest to remove. Just hold this from my back. There we go, we pull this connector out. So now what we've got, is we've got three leads here. We're gonna be pulling these back through this hole once we've done the next step. We're gonna use an eight millimeter socket to remove these four bolts on the underside. These are the ones actually holding the number plate holder. Pull this out and then we'll carefully guide those three cables that we undid through the opening, pull them out through here, and there we have it. So what we now have is the large cumbersome number plate holder and indicators removed from the bike. Uh, so now we'll start the process of putting the new one together and fitting it. I've already removed the actual license plate itself from the old holder. Now what we need to do is take the indicators and a few components out from this and transfer them onto the new one once we've built it. So, we need to initially remove these top four here and then we're going to spin it over and we're going to undo this nut here so that we can pull the reflector out. This is an 8mm in the back here. Okay, and that's the reflector up. We now need to remove the indicators, which we'll do like so. So inside, where you can see we've got these rubber clips, we'll just pull these to the side, like so. It should then allow us to release this clip on the inside, like this. And when we do this, we should be able to then squeeze the rubber through the hole and push these connectors outward. And here we are. I squeeze this, just pulled this through. Okay, this we can put sideways and we can feed this cable through now. So remembering now that where this was on the back of the bike, the connector with the white was the right indicator. And let's look here, the connector with the black was the left indicator. And then we've got the tail light or the number plate lamp, which is this gray connector here. So just gonna do the same on this side. Gonna pull this clip to the side like this. Release this plastic upwards like so. Move this out of the way and then squeeze the rubber from it through and then pass this through the hole so that it comes out. So the new kit comes with this plastic strip here um, and the instructions say that we need to snap this off between 20 and 21. Unfortunately the instructions weren't so clear and this license plate holder can actually be used in two formats, either an extended format which actually isn't much different to the stock a license plate holder's location or, or in the tail tidy mode. To use this in tail tidy mode you actually need to snap this piece of plastic between the numbers 7 and 8. Okay so for this next part we're going to be putting together part of the new tail tidy. So let's 
So we're going to need this piece, this piece, and this piece. Okay, so we'll start off with our bottom piece here, like so. We'll get our M5 by 10 bolts, put them through the bottom, like so, hold those in place. Then we can take our middle section here, get this on here, like so. Then we take the top part, making sure that this bit here is facing away from you. And we'll just attach those together, like so. Put in our bolts on the top, our nuts, sorry. Do that up on the other side. Okay. And the same with the second one. Let's get that one here like so. We'll flip that over now. So you can see what we're doing. Just tightening these up here. We won't tighten those all the way up yet. Okay, for this next step, we're gonna take our M5 by 12s. Put these through these little buckets as such. And we need these indicator holders. And we're going to attach these to the underside of the holder here. And you can see that the, the curvature matches. And I've just got this here, like so. Take one of these from the underside and fit this through here. Once the hole lines up, Put these here like so, hold this in place and we'll tighten that up from the underside. It should be noted that the direction you want to have these fitted is that this bit is lining up with this bit, so away from you. We'll do the same for the other side. We'll line this up on here like so. So now we're going to fit the indicators into the new holder. So we'll take the right indicator that had the white connector on it, okay? And we're just gonna slide that into here, give it a little twist, okay? Once you've done that, we can take the plastic that we removed, but when we, when we removed it from the unit, we'll just slide that back into those points there. Now that's gonna hold itself in temporarily. There's something else we're gonna put on shortly. And we'll do the same with the left-hand side. Rotate that. Okay. Pull this into place. Get it into the bubble like that. There we go. So they're now temporarily on here. Okay. Now there's something that's going to clip over these and hold them in properly, which will fit in the next step. So there is a plastic piece here now that's going to go over um, over this and encase it and secure it properly. So if we notice that this piece of metal here fits through the first slot on this here. Um, they are marked as left and right, so make sure you're fitting the correct one. Okay, that's sealed and the cable's coming out of the hole. We'll do the same on the other side. Great. So the next step, we're attaching the R7 logo with the light to the top of this. So we'll take these cables and we'll feed them through this lower hole here, like so. Let's do those one at a time. And then there's a bolt that we're gonna use, which is the final M5. I'm gonna use that to attach the light to the license plate holder. Great. For this next step, we're going to take this piece of plastic here that we cut and bent earlier, and we're going to take these cables and we're going to run them through the hole so that they come out this way, like so. So we had the plastic, the cables coming through the plastic. Here we want to pull these up like this and then slide this so it's going down through behind the, these bolts here. And then we need to just move these indicator cables into these little grooves on the side so they don't get caught. And it says we should be able to push these and this will then click into place. With a little bit more of a push, 
that did go a little bit further down and you can see now that that is now touching the bottom um, and it did make a bit more of a click. For this next step we're attaching the extension bracket to the mounting arms that will attach to the underside of the bike. This step is only required if you don't wish to use the tail tidy in its shorter form. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to make sure that when we're putting this on, onto here, um, the wires are gonna sit above the plastic, it's this way around, um, because from the bottom, all we're gonna wanna see is the plastic. So I've got two of the wires on one side and another wire on the other side, and I've just pulled them through these grooves like so, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna feed this unit, this part, over top, like so, let the, let the plastic slide in so that the, and this is a tiny bit fiddly, let's just get that to slide in like so. If we flip that open over, we can see what's happening. The plastic is along the bottom and the wires are up underneath it. Okay, we'll just make sure those, those cables are all being held up top of the plastic. And then we'll take this to the end. We'll get this notch lined up with here and the same on the other side as well it's great and we can now put our m6 bolts in okay those are tightened up if we flip this over now you'll see that the cables are going through those notches and they're reaching the underside of the plastic there so we have the holder ready to go on the bike the cables here which are going to go up through the holes uh, the same holes that we pulled the old cables out through. And we've got our mounting points that are going to go on the underside of the bike. Let's see what's next. So we're going to be taking the cables and running them up through the hole inside the bike here, um, which is how we pulled the cables out from the original holder. So we'll start off by running the cables up through the, the hole. And what we actually have to do is we have to take just the front two bolts and bolt these on first of all, because there's going to be a little bracket we're going to attach. As you can see, we've done just the front two bolts, one on either side, and then we need to take this plate, like so, and we're going to mount this this way, like this, underneath, and then we're going to bolt through it. I've clipped the cables into the clip that we removed earlier and I've run them back through that little gap over here and I can get the brake light fitted back in as well. With just a push in the kit, what we get is this um, adapter here um, so we can put the black into the black. Let's just pull these sleeves back and push that in and then we'll crimp these. Right, those are here. Now this is gonna connect up to our little gray connector like this. Okay, there we go. We're gonna connect our white to our white. To our white indicator. And we're gonna reach in here and get the black one, which is quite tucked away. We'll pull this cable through a little so it reaches, and that's going to be for our left indicator. And there it is. That's the ECU fitted. That's great. While we've got access to everything, let's just get the reflector and put that onto the base here. It's nice that's coming back across from the previous unit. I'm also going to replace the zip tie that we cut earlier. Okay, we have light from here, our brake light's still working. Let's have a look if we can indicate. Yeah, that's the left again indicator, that's the right indicator, and of course, the hazards will both work as well. Fantastic, we're on the right track. 
So we've just lined up the rear fairing, so we're ready to go. Let's push that back on so it's connectors, that's the plugs, okay? And we'll start putting everything back in that we took off earlier. Okay, we've got our two clips under here, which we're going to stick back in again once I've reset them. And one on the other side. And then we'll put our screw back in the top here. Then we need these two clips here. underneath the rear. Let's get this little hook in here, push these up and then we should just be able to take our clips which we reset earlier, push them up and in to these positions here. We'll take our four bolts that came out of here, being mindful not to lose the little washers that come with them. these bolts and screws in here. We've got our clips that go into here. This top piece just slides in like so. And then on the underside, we have this screw and this clip to pop in. After filming this video, I realized that with this plate on here, the actual uh, tail wasn't any tidier than the uh, stock one. So, what happens is you can actually remove this and then attach the unit here straight to the bits that that, that itself attaches to. Okay, with that side piece here removed, you can see now that that is a much better profile on the bike. Um, so let's put everything back together. And we are done. Really, really happy with the profile on the side of the bike now. It's much better than it was before. A little bit annoyed that halfway through fitting, I realized that the fitting kit gives you the two options of either fitting it elongated or extended or close up. Um, but now the bike truly has a tail tidy and I'm happy. I really hope this video is helpful to someone uh, trying to fit the same kit as me. Um, maybe you'll see some of the pitfalls that I encountered uh, before you actually hit them. Ride safe and I'll see you out on the roads.